on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. 1984, a time capsule in sight and sound of moments, milestones, and memories. The events and the people that touched us all. American military facilities in West Germany are under attack. We'll have the details next. makes you feel good about banking. Binaqua makes you feel good. Binaqua Bank is your big little bank and we treat you the way a bank should. Whenever you want to see what a bank can do, we want it understood. That of all the banks in our great city, Minaqua's the one that makes you feel good. This is the Pikes Peak Broadcasting Company, KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. And now, live, this is the News 13 Weekend 10 O'Clock Report with news anchor Jill Wagner, weather with Marie Burgess, and sports with John Driggs. News 13, Southern Colorado's number one news report. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday night. This New Year's weekend celebration has been marred by violence and terrorism. American military facilities in West Germany have come under bombing attacks three times this weekend. No injuries have been reported, but Army offices and communication towers have been destroyed. So far, there are no claims of responsibility for the two bombings that occurred today, but yesterday, West German authorities dismantled a bomb found at a U.S. Air Force base. A left-wing group has claimed responsibility for that. Terrorism has declined in the U.S. during the past 10 years, but the number of bombings and fires at abortion clinics across the country has escalated. A 21-year-old Florida man has been charged with bombing four abortion clinics in Pensacola, including three on Christmas Day. The Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms made that arrest today. Meanwhile, the FBI is reportedly assisting in the bombing probe, but refuses to use its special terrorism unit to aid in that investigation. According to the director of the FBI, William Webster, the bombings of those abortion clinics are not the result of a terrorist group. Today, Webster denied that the federal government was in any way ignoring the problem. The FBI is not looking the other way. The federal government is not looking the other way. Since 1973, we have had procedures in place in which federal agencies divide responsibility. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms has had the primary enforcement responsibility for explosions using incendiary devices since that time. They have about 1,200 agents. It's not generally well known, as well known as the FBI, but this is their top priority, and they have over 500 agents working these cases more than we have in our entire federal terrorism program. Webster made his comments on the CBS program, Face the Nation. PLO leader Yasser Arafat is blaming Syria for the assassination of a top PLO leader. Arafat, who met with Jordan's King Hussein today, said Syria helped, quote, the hand of Zionism by gunning down the former West Bank mayor in front of his home. Arafat led mourners today at the funeral of the PLO aide. Arafat and his entourage were mobbed by supporters as they arrived at the dead man's home. Arafat accused PLO dissidents of carrying out the fatal shooting with the help of Syria. But in Beirut today, an underground guerrilla group called Black September claimed credit for that shooting. In Italy, thousands of residents are protesting the early release of a Nazi war criminal. 69-year-old Walter Redder could be released six months before his prison term expires. He was jailed in 1951 after being convicted of a wartime massacre that killed more than 1,800 people. Survivors and relatives of the, Viets, or excuse me, of the victims of the Nazi attack in northern Italy have voted not to support Redder's early release. He was sentenced to life in prison by an Italian court in 1954. Redder is the last war criminal to remain in an Italian jail. To these people, the memory of that day 40 years ago is still too horrifying for the perpetrator to be forgiven. Meanwhile, closer to home, the investigation into the murder of Alan Berg, a Denver radio talk show host, has uncovered details of a well-financed group of neo-Nazis. The Iranian...
Iranian sect is a, a communication network of home computers linked by phone lines. The FBI is investigating that sect in connection with murders, robberies, and possession of explosives. The Aryan sect is being linked to crimes in Colorado, Idaho, Montana, and Washington State, including the machine gun murder of Alan Berg. The murder weapon, a 45 caliber machine gun, was found with hundreds of pounds of explosives and other weaponry at a house in Idaho. At that same place, Gary Lee Yarbrough, a neo-Nazi, was arrested in connection with Berg's death. Local news is next on the Weekend Report. The search is underway for the sole eyewitness in the 10-year-old murder of a massage parlor owner. We'll have the details right after this station break. We're overstocked and 55 cars and vans must go. For only 55 hours, Perkins Chrysler Plymouth is offering tremendous discounts on our entire inventory. Now is your chance to own a new Colt, Horizon, Turismo, or Reliant K. Time is running out for deals on LeBaron's, New Yorkers, Lasers, and Voyagers. For 55 hours, take advantage of these great deals and a no-charge 5-year, 50,000-mile protection package. Only at Perkins Chrysler Plymouth, Motor City Drive. Discounts end this Monday at 5. What a great way to start a new year. Between now and 6 p.m. January 1st, the Denver Warehouse will be offering one year free financing on our three-acre display of name brand home furnishes and accessories. As you know, we don't make this offer very often. Frankly, at our prices, we don't have to. But right now, our inventory is at its biggest. So wouldn't it be a great way to start a new year? Why not start your new year? With new home furnishings, fantastic savings, and free financing at the Denver Warehouse in Colorado Springs. Daddy, I'm Harry. Welcome to the hog heaven. You know, if there's one thing I love, it's that good smoke flavor, know what I mean? <laughs> Have you had it with a so-called down-home atmosphere? Then come to BF Good Ribs and relax. Our comfortable atmosphere and service makes dining a pleasure. We feature fantastic all-you-can-eat specials, including chicken, beef ribs, and prime rib. BF Good Ribs, 319 North Shelton. We gladly accept reservations. Is it any wonder that we sell more beef ribs than anyone in Colorado? Pueblo Toyota's Celathon 6 will save you big money. Save now on hundreds of cars and trucks. A 1985 Toyota pickup is Celathon priced at only $59.95. A 1985 Toyota Camry Deluxe, loaded, is yours for only $96.56. What a feeling. Great Toyota savings now through New Year's Eve at Pueblo Toyota. Celathon 6 saves you big dollars on the most wanted cars and trucks in America. Highway 50 West in Pueblo. In local news tonight, a Springs man is in serious condition following a one-car accident earlier this evening. According to police, 24-year-old Gary Barr was driving north on La Cresta when his car reportedly went out of control and ran into a tree. The accident occurred around 6.30 this evening. Barr was taken to St. Francis Hospital. DUI charges are pending against him. Meanwhile, the Colorado State Patrol says they plan to have extra officers on duty tomorrow night out there specifically to watch for drunk drivers. Law enforcement agencies will have statewide sobriety checkpoints at unannounced spots. Every car on a selected stretch of highway will be stopped and drivers will be asked to show their license, car registration and proof of insurance. The Colorado State Patrol will have four times the normal amount of troopers out on the highways just for New Year's Eve. A search is underway to locate the sole eyewitness in the 1974 murder of a massage parlor owner in Colorado Springs. Parker Stepp is now in prison for that murder, but his lawyers claim he was misidentified and that mass killer Otis Toole is the murderer. A Korean woman, uh, Yan Cha Lee, has, had only been in the U.S. for about five weeks when a man attacked and stabbed her and killed her employer, Sun Ok Cousin, at the Sui or Susie Oriental Massage Parlor on South Nevada Avenue. Yanchili had identified Estep as that man, but then she repeatedly testified that her assailant did not have a mustache. Estep was known to have a very prominent mustache at the time of that murder. Estep's lawyers and private investigators claim Lee could clear up the 10-year-old murder case by viewing a photo lineup of both Tool and Estep, but the prosecution has refused to disclose Lee's whereabouts. However, El Paso District Attorney-elect Barney Ayupa told News 13, if a step is granted a new trial, he will call Lee to testify again. Uh, a videotaped deposition so that both sides will have an opportunity to uh, question that witness. Ayupa made his comments 10 days before he officially takes office as district attorney. At the same time, Ayupa said he would vigorously oppose a new trial for Estep. A motion for a new trial is scheduled in the next two weeks. 
While the rest of us are welcoming in 1985 in our own style, some 30 members and guests of the Adaman Club will be doing it their way, with fireworks from the top of Pikes Peak. The club members today went partway up the mountain. Tomorrow they'll struggle through frigid mountain temperatures and snow, at least waist deep, to the summit. News 13's Craig McMorris was with the club this morning and has this report. You should eat a hearty breakfast before climbing a mountain, and that's how the Adam Ann Club and its guests started the morning. Sixteen members of the club and 14 guests are making the climb this year, following a tradition that's been going on the past 63 years. <laughs> following breakfast, the climbers gathered near the base of the mountain to start the ascent. Jim Bates has made the climb every year since 1952. He remembers times there was so much snow at the halfway point, bar camp, they couldn't use it. On those occasions, Bates says a makeshift tent had to be set up with a giant bonfire placed in the middle for warmth. Have you ever thought of being at a party or doing something else on New Year's Eve? Well, yes, to a, in a way, and I suppose that's one of the reasons the club was originally started, with the five original members, the Frozen Five as they called them, wanted to do something different. Uh, rather than attend parties, and that's just what they did, was to go climb Pikes Peak to have something a little different to do. And I've always felt the same way, and uh, fortunately my family goes along with it. The club has one guest who's making the trek with the group for the first time. He was asked why he's making the climb. I just look at things like this as a challenge, and um, I look at it as kind of a good physical type exercise, and uh, I, I think Climbing with the Adaman Club is going to be a good experience for me because I know it's a good group of people to go with. The annual journey will be capped at midnight New Year's Eve with the fireworks being electronically activated from the top of the peak. Craig McMorris, News 13. Well, it looks like the last day of 1984 may bring in some snow. Marie joins us next with Colorado's weather forecast. Details next when News 13 continues. Hope we're going to a New Year's Eve party. <clears throat> I'd prefer an office party. I want to go to a kid's party. McDonald's Chicken McNuggets 20-pack. Tender chunks of chicken. The life of any holiday party. How do I look? Delicious. Golden brown is your color. Whoopee! Let's go to a sleigh ride party. It's a good time for the great taste. Parties, parties. Oh. That's all you 20-packs ever think of. Of McDonald's. See what one thin dime can do for you at Friendly Dan, the TV man. A great selection at a sensible price. See what one thin dime can deliver to you today at Friendly Dan, the TV man. running out to make the new car buy of 1984. Only until December 31st, your Colorado Pontiac dealers are clearing out every new Pontiac with a clearance countdown sale. We'd rather sell our 85s at greatly reduced prices than carry extra inventory into the new year. Like Sunbirds less than $72.50, Fiero starting from $85.15, even Grand Ams are as low as $83.65, and 6,000's Parisians Firebirds are all sale priced, but only at your nearby Colorado Pontiac dealer. Hurry, sale ends Monday night. It's said that time is money. You don't have any of either to waste. At Office Furniture Warehouse, we don't waste your time by making you wait for your office furniture. At Office Furniture Warehouse, you look at furniture, a lot of it, not catalogs. Our buyers maintain the largest selection in the area, and we save you time with our immediate delivery and warehouse convenience. While you're saving time at Office Furniture Warehouse, it's nice to know you'll also be saving money. So shop Office Furniture Warehouse, Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Looks like the last day of December could bring in a little snow for Just us. a little bit. We do have a slight chance of snow throughout a good portion of the state. That includes Colorado Springs and Pueblo. However, things should be clearing by tomorrow night, and New Year's Day looks pretty good. A little chilly, but it's going to be mostly sunny. Doesn't sound too bad. No, not a bad way to start off the new year. No. 
Currently here in the Springs, we have cloudy skies. Temperature is 32 degrees, humidity 49 percent. Winds are out of the northwest at 6 miles an hour, and the barometer is 30.08 and rising. While in Pueblo, skies are mostly cloudy. Temperature 27 degrees, humidity 92 percent. Winds are out of the southwest at 5 miles an hour, and barometric pressure 30.09 and also rising. Meanwhile, high pressure continue to dominate most of the southwest here, giving us another gorgeous day. It's just been a beautiful day over most of Colorado, with the exception of the eastern plains, where they have had some fog over portions of northeastern and extreme southeastern Colorado. But other than that, we do have a little bit of snowfall falling over the northern and central mountains of the state, and travelers' advisories are in effect because we can get from about four to eight inches of snow as this new front moves into the region. Meanwhile, to the north of us, we have quite a bit of precipitation associated with that low pressure system and the cold front, and it's been a real bitterly cold day over most of north-central U.S. In fact, uh, in Willistown, South Dakota, they only had a high today of below 20 degrees, so a real frigid day up there. Meanwhile, that front from the north is starting to push in here toward the front range, and uh, combined with a, a new upper layer air, air disturbance, it will be bringing the snowfall into portions of the mountains, once again, heavier snowfall there, with also some light snow over portions of the eastern plains. Meanwhile, this is what our satellite will look like. You can see mostly clear skies over most of the southeast. Here over Colorado, variable clouds have increased, and we do have cloudy conditions over most of the state. However, farther to the north, very heavy cloud cover associated with that Arctic air. Meanwhile, as far as the eastern U.S. goes, we have a cold front that stretches all the way from southern Texas into the Carolinas. Quite a bit of heavy thunderstorms today in southern Texas. They even had a couple of tornadoes touch down. Meanwhile, they did have a little bit of minor flooding, but once again, precipitation all the way along the front. Bermuda, Bermuda High continued to bring beautiful weather to the southeast as it was here in the uh, western U.S., and they did have about 40 cities reporting record highs. That was in 16 different states. A gorgeous day there. Meanwhile, to the north, once again, a couple of showers associated with a front, but a uh, satellite will show us most clear skies there, circulation around the high, and also heavy cloud cover associated with that front. And in just a moment, a closer look at Colorado's weather. We'll be right back. It's absolutely electrifying. It's Downing's year-end clearance of appliances, TVs, and audio, and the prices come tumbling down. Save 5 to 50% on every item in the store. Downing's has to clear out merchandise, and you have to save. Prices are slashed 5 to 50% on every appliance, every TV, every PO during Downing's year-end clearance sale. 5 to 50% off every item is a beautiful way to begin the new year. 1984 was a record year for Ford dealers here in the West, and your Ford dealer wants to keep the momentum going with his big year-end countdown sales event. Great year-end deals on nearly every Ford car and truck in stock. Everything must go, from front-wheel drive Ford Tempos to tough Ford trucks. He wants the last week of 84 to be the best week of 84. So almost every new Ford is priced to move. But hurry, to get a great year-end deal, see your Ford dealer before December 31st. Hi, my name's Mike Porter, manager of Carpet Outlet, the total floor covering supermarket of Colorado Springs. Right now, you're being bombarded by everyone's year-end clearance sales and leftover inventories. But not at Carpet Outlet. We're so new, we're still remodeling and receiving new shipments of carpets and floor coverings every day. Fresh new styles, colors, patterns, and carpets and vinyls, starting at $3.99. So before you buy carpet or floor covering of any kind, come in and see us at Carpet Outlet in South A Street in the Skyway Plaza. See you there. Well, our southwest satellite shows us mostly cloudy conditions over the, uh, the state, and also you can see how those winds aloft are pushing the clouds farther toward the eastern plains. Meanwhile, this is what our satellite picture looks like. Uh, let's see if we can get that up real quickly. And it doesn't seem like it's going to work, so we'll go ahead and talk about some of the precipitation here south in Texas. But other than that, we really don't have too much going on over our state currently. Unfortunately, we don't have our state map, but a little earlier in the day, we even had some snow showers here in the eastern plains around Greeley that subsided at about 3 o'clock, but other than that, very foggy conditions, both near Lamar and also in the southeast corners of the state into La Hanna. So if you plan on doing any traveling there, be careful. Also, if you plan on going toward the mountains to do any skiing for New Year's Eve day, be careful because we do have traveler's advisories there for winter driving conditions. Let's take a look at our forecast now to see what's in store for us. 
First of all, for the lower Arkansas Valley, we can expect cool conditions tonight with patchy fog developing later and tomorrow breezy and colder with a 20% chance of light snow, low 25, a high of 30. Uh, San Luis Valley, a slight chance of snow showers late tonight and tomorrow breezy with a chance of snow, low 7, high 33. Pueblo, patchy fog developing late tonight and tomorrow considerable cloudiness turning colder with a 20% chance of light snow by later tomorrow, low 15, a high of 30. And finally here in the spring, Brings cool, patchy fog developing later tonight and tomorrow cloudy, breezy and much colder with a 20% chance of light snow, a low of 15 and a high of 28. It was too good to last for too much longer, Jill. We'll be looking a little bit more like winter. However, they won't be sticking around too long and Tuesday looks pretty good. Okay, thanks a lot, Marie. It's sports time, and I feel real bad for the Denver Broncos. It seems like a long season. It really ended quick today. But, you know, it's, it's funny. I was thinking that earlier. It's weird. It's just strange that the season is now over. There's no next Sunday right. for the Broncos. So the loss today, playoff loss, brings an end to the Broncos' season for 1984. It was a great season. John Eaves was in the locker room after today's loss, and we'll take a look at today's highlights and hear from the Broncos after this. Inside and out, your home will proudly display its most attractive features with lighting from the extensive showrooms of Home Lighting Incorporated. You'll find beautiful table lamps and floor lamps, sparkling crystal chandeliers, and a vast selection of ceiling fixtures, as well as finest quality outdoor lighting. See it all weekdays, 8.30 to 5.30, and Saturdays, 10 till 2. Pay cash and save 5% at Home Lighting Incorporated, 624 North Tejon. While everyone was out buying presents and getting ready for the holidays, Volkswagen and BMW continued to send us cars. And frankly, we need to sell some now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get ready for a six-day Phil Winslow sellathon. Golfs, Jettas, Scirocco's, and Vanigans all on sale with factory rebates, plus sale prices on all BMWs, plus a year-end tag sale on all used cars. You really won't find a better time to buy. We're ready! Phil Winslow Volkswagen BMW, 730 North Circle Drive. Learn to ski this winter at beautiful Conquistador. Conquistador has a superb first day learn to ski package with skis, boots, poles, all day lessons and lift tickets for just $15. Your family or group will learn to ski together at a teaching area where the family matters. Explore Conquistador with both alpine and cross country skiing. Conquistador is just 70 miles southwest of Colorado Springs with no mountain passes between you and the snow. Ski Conquistador, the family area in nearby Westcliff. Introducing the Unfinished Furniture Center's New Year's Special Event. Now you can get solid wood furniture at fantastic savings. Solid Adler Maple Chairs now only $29.88 each. Solid Aromatic Cedar Chests for only $149.88. Oak and Oak Ply Wall Units for only $249.88. It's fun and easy to stain your own furniture. And we'll show you how at the Unfinished Furniture Center, 2454 Montbello Square Drive. One block north of Union on Academy. The Denver Broncos drive towards an AFC championship and a berth in Super Bowl 19 in Palo Alto came to an end today when the Broncos were eliminated from the playoffs by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Broncos fell to Pittsburgh 24-17 this afternoon at Mile High Stadium. Steelers fumbled the ball away on their first two possessions. Tom Jackson recovers the Mark Malone fumble here. A few plays later, John Elway goes to the tight end, James Wright. Wright runs it in. Quickly, 7 to nothing Broncos. Second quarter after a Pittsburgh field goal, the Broncos go with the trick play. Watch this. Elway to Gerald Wilhite. Wilhite uncorks the lame duck for Steve Watson. Watson pulls it in and takes the angular route towards the end zone here. He's going to roll all the way down to the Steeler 20-yard line. However, this drive would end with an Elway interception. Pittsburgh went on top late in the first half. Frank Pollard goes over from one yard out. Steelers led 10 to 7 at halftime. Broncos made a big play early in the third quarter. Roger Jackson blocks the Craig Colquitt punt. The ball goes out of bounds. The Broncos took over at the four-yard line but had to settle for a Rich Carlos field goal. And with that, it's 10 apiece. The Broncos took the lead when Elway, playing with a groin pull and knee trouble, finds Steve Watson in the end zone, 17-10 Denver. Steelers came right back to tie it, though. Malone hooks up with Lewis Lips and watch the effort by Lips to just get it over, 17 apiece. But then Elway, the big play of the day, intercepted by Eric Williams. 
Williams makes a nice return, takes it all the way back to the Denver two-yard line. And a few plays later, Frank Pollard puts the winning points on the board, 24 to 17 Steelers. A last desperation pass from Elway as he goes bombs away with no time left on the clock. That one falls incomplete. Pittsburgh beat the Broncos 24-17. Later, our John Eves was in the Broncos locker room. Steelers really had a balanced attack today. Two good running backs and, of course, those two receivers. I know you were on lips and, and Stallworth. They're a good team. Yeah, you know, like I say, they, uh, you know, they played excellent today. And there was no doubt about that. They deserved to win. It, it wasn't a, a case of uh, us outplaying them and losing. They, I think, outplayed this uh, offensively and defensively. So I uh, have to give them credit. They got a great team. I'm just really disappointed. And, but you gotta, you gotta realize we did have a great season. We, we really fought and hung together to get to where we were. And, and uh, we'll, we'll be a good team. No mistake about it, the Broncos will be heard from again in the playoffs. Pittsburgh beat the Bronx 24-17. Broncos end up a fine season at 13-4 for the year. Of course, the Steelers will go on to the AFC title game in Miami, and that will be the early game next Sunday. The NFC Championship matchup will have the Chicago Bears in San Francisco to take on the 49ers next Sunday. Today, the Bears advance to the next round of the playoffs with a 23-19 upset of the Washington Redskins at Washington's RFK Stadium. Redskins on top 3-0 in driving in the second quarter when Chicago defensive back Todd Bell blasts Joe Washington. Washington fumbles. Otis Wilson recovers for the Bears. That led to a Chicago field goal. We're even at three apiece. Bears got the only touchdown of the first half when Walter Payton plays quarterback throwing the option pass to the tight end Pat Dunsmore 10-7 Chicago Washington's final drive of the half was snuffed out when Richard Dent sacked Theismann. They roughed Theismann up all day long. She 10-7 at the break. Bears scored again on the first possession of the second half. Steve Fuller little dump off pass quickie to Willie Gull. Gull turns it into a 75 yard touchdown run. Just too much speed there. Nobody's going to catch Willie Gull. PAT, no good, and it's 16 to 3 Chicago. Now, a couple of John Riggins touchdowns had the Redskins close at the end. But Theismann's bombs away pass. Desperation effort here. Picked off by Mike Richardson. And yes, Mike Ditka's Chicago Bears beat Washington 23 to 19. After the game, Willie Gull and Walter Payton talked about a couple of big plays. I was fortunate to get that, that long pass. We were looking for the long play, but it came on the short play. And I, I was just glad to do anything we could because it, it feels good, and I think this is our year. And not taking anything away from the Redskins. They're a great defense. They're a great team. But I think we're, we were just better today, and they gave us a big scare, though. I tell you, it was the perfect time to call that play because we faked the reverse, and going that way, it just sucked everybody in. And it's okay, we're going to the reverse. And then I looked up, and Dunsmore, he was wide open. I just tried to get it there, not try to overthrow him. Oh, I can't believe it. I got to get, get in and do a renegotiate on the contract for quarterback. All right, Bears beat Washington 23-19. Again, the Bears will face the 49ers in San Francisco next Sunday in the NFC Championship game. In college football, postseason bowl play will resume tomorrow with a couple of games on the agenda. And tomorrow afternoon, Purdue will face Virginia in the Peach Bowl down in Atlanta. Then tomorrow night, Texas Christian takes on West Virginia in the Blue Bonnet Bowl. Well, coming off last night's triumph over the Sonics in Seattle, the Midwest Division leading Denver Nuggets will take a few days off before hosting second place Houston at McNichols Arena Wednesday night. Just a couple of games on the NBA schedule tonight. Let's go to the scoreboard. Milwaukee wins their eighth straight game, beating Boston. Elsewhere, Phoenix in the third quarter on top of the L.A. Clippers. College basketball, Missouri knocks off North Carolina. It's uh, number 15, Indiana over Florida. Oklahoma gets by Louisiana Tech, and LSU beat Alabama. National Hockey League, Rangers over St. Louis. It's Boston beating Winnipeg. Calgary whips Chicago. Edmonton on top of Vancouver in the second period. And Philadelphia and the LA, L.A. Kings, Jill, are all even at two apiece in the second period. Okay, thanks a lot, John. Don't yeah. go away. We'll be right back. Year-in closeout means three things at Academy Ford South Subaru. One, a final liquidation of all remaining 84s at just 84 cents over actual factory invoice. Two, we'll double your down payment up to $3,000. Your $3,000 and our $3,000 is $6,000 down. Even if you don't have a down payment, zero down delivers even Sobs and Subarus. That means escorts from $115 a month, Rangers just $119 a month, but till December 31st only at Academy Ford South Subaru. Academy of Bijou, where we're more than competitive. It's said that time is money. You don't have any of either to waste. At Office Furniture Warehouse, we don't waste your time by making you wait for your office furniture. 
At Office Furniture Warehouse, you look at furniture, a lot of it, not catalogs. Our buyers maintain the largest selection in the area, and we save you time with our immediate delivery and warehouse convenience. While you're saving time in Office Furniture Warehouse, it's nice to know you'll also be saving money. So shop Office Furniture Warehouse, Colorado Springs and Pueblo. In today's specialized job market, it's important that you make careful career choices and select the college that offers quality instruction. Pikes Peak Community College updates its programs to meet the employment needs of our region. Whatever your educational goals, you'll find the right program at Pikes Peak Community College. Call 576-7711. We're wrapping up the holiday season with a blockbuster year-end sale. Closeout prices on 84s and 84 demos and the lowest prices of the year on the new 85s. Smart front-wheel drive or full-size Buick luxury. We have a package of pride, prestige, and performance all wrapped up in a Buick. So hurry in for rock-bottom year-end prices on 84 and 85 Buicks before they're all gone. At Guy Martin Buick in Motor City. That's our news for this weekend. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to catch John Lundberg with Good Morning Colorado tomorrow morning. Have a nice week. This is KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. Welcome to Studio 13. Tonight, Cliff Robertson and Geraldine Page star in J.W. Coop.